I remember feeling pretty invincible. What was it like jumping back into playing Hank Pym? He's a little bit like me, kind of cranky. <laughs> you know, I love his, his attitude with Paul's character. And I get to wear a suit. Yeah. When this one, I missed that in the first one. What has it been like coming back to Ant-Man for the second film? Well, it's fun because it was a great experience on the first one, and we really are fortunate to have the cast that we have. And now we've added to that cast, you know, with Lawrence Fishburne and Michelle Pfeiffer and Hannah John Common, and we just, it was fun to go to work every day. Jumping in headfirst into the Marvel Cinematic Universe has been amazing. Um, I'm still pinching myself. Um, the sheer kind of energy and size of Marvel, you go on set like, Wow. I sat down with Peyton Reed and, you know, we would sit and would talk and discuss the character and and who she is. And he really, you know, gave me freedom to to contribute. Because, you know, taking a character that's originally written for, for a male and as a female to take that character and give it life and be the first person to do it, it's an honor. Um, so yeah, I really wanted to get it, I really wanted to get it right. I like to have a really fun vibe on the set because it's hard work and these movies are very, there's a lot of technical stuff going on. And of course, Paul Rudd is always very good about keeping things light around set and, and, and keeping the other actors light too. Take me into your very first day on set. And I remember the actors who I was working with that day really made me feel so welcome and and knew it was my first day and was like, right, you know, here we go. You know, there's a round of applause, it's your first day. And then that's when I was like, okay, this is gonna be fun. Working together with Evangeline Lilly and developing that father-daughter relationship, can you talk a little bit about that? There's always a special relationship with a father and daughter. I can't say she has the best taste in boyfriends. <laughs> I'll always hold that against Scott. Did you have a favorite set that you worked on? I have two favorite sets. Obviously, Hank Pym's laboratory was insane because it's a practical set. It's the biggest set that's ever been built for a Marvel movie. It was just a gigantic set with all these crazy scale cues, a giant shock absorber, or one of those plastic clips that holds your bread together over here. But I also love the, the X-Con set where um, Luis and Kurt and Dave work. It had a very film noir vibe to it. Do you have a favorite moment with one of those actors that you had a scene with? Stunt-wise, I think that re it's really fun. I remember feeling pretty invincible, um, to be honest. I remember feeling like that on set, and it's like, do you need any water? I'm like, no, come on. But also, you know, it's, it's, it's so much fun to kind of play the emotional themes as well with, with you know, heroes as actors, you know, like actual heroes in my real life. Working with Paul Rudd, you have some great scenes together. Did you leave any room for improvisation at all? No, because Paul took it all up. <laughs> okay. My job is sort of maintain a kind of a gravitas to kind of maintain the storyline, the credibility. Paul's job is he gets to take every ad lib uh, that comes to his mind and up, and he's very talented at it and very good. You know, I'm an Avenger now. Yeah, so you've mentioned. I always want to leave space on the set to discover stuff, and and I think that's, that's what Paul is really good, too, about taking the scene has to get us from A to B, and we've got the version that we love and think works, but let's try it a different way. And, and they're really good about sort of jumping in and, and, and changing things up. Great job back there. Thanks. Are you gonna say the same thing to me? Good job. Thank you.